Hello and welcome to Hotel Rio Palace Las Americas. This is an adults only, all inclusive resort located at the top, towards the top of the Cancun Hotel Zone. Uh, right now we are on the fourth floor and we're just going to walk around and talk about this resort, some of its features and facilities and uh, perhaps a few things that make it unique. So we're going to head down the stairs right now. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is Saturday, October 20th. 2018. One thing you might notice is that the the architecture and the decor uh, looks very interesting. Paintings on the walls. Definitely looks a bit different than some of the more modern looking resorts. So we're just heading down the stairs and we're going to show you the pools. Um, the area where they have uh, some of the restaurants. And of course uh, the lobby. So this resort, um, one thing that's interesting about this resort is that it is adults only, which uh, the, uh, there's four Ryu resorts in the city of Cancun uh, and three of them uh, are family friendly, uh, meaning that you're allowed to go here, if, you're allowed to go there if you're uh, under 18, but this resort, uh, Hotel Ryu Palace Las Americas is adults only, 18 and older. Um, so again, talking about the decor and the architecture and the style, it looks very interesting. Um, very nice to just walk around the building, actually. So we're approaching the lobby right now. The weather is very nice. I would say I definitely recommend um, booking in September or October because not only is the weather nice and it's not terribly hot, it's actually cheaper, definitely cheaper to book in September and October, so especially if you're checking every day, booking in advance on wh whichever is your favorite um, booking site, whether it's Travelocity or something else, um, it's always a good chance that you'll get something to be able to book a cheap, cheap prices for all inclusive resorts in September and October, so especially the end of September. So here's the lobby. Here's the entrance over there. <laughs> and these are the doors that lead to the pools and the outdoor area where you can walk around and access the buffets. Uh, there's actually, yeah, so there's a breakfast buffet, lunch buffet, and a dinner buffet, which is great because Sometimes you might not always want to go to a restaurant at night. You might just want to go quickly eat at the dinner buffet. So nice to have um, different, lots of different food options. This is cappuccino. This is a coffee house kind of area where you can get coffee drinks. 
pastries and actually they have milkshakes so there is a menu which you can look at and um, you'll see that they do have milkshakes which I happen to like so again um, open most hours of the day so um, always nice to have a lot of or at least always nice to have some place to eat and there's actually a 24-hour lounge where you can get some snacks um, and water open 24 hours a day obviously uh, we're actually gonna stop by there right now just so you can see what it looks like again I mean one of the things that I appreciate is when a resort offers food at all hours of the day and not just room service I mean a place where you can go either late at night or early in the morning and just eat something if you if you are hungry sorry um, so we're just gonna take a look around in there. So that's the 24-hour snack bar where you can get some food and water 24 hours a day. Now we're going to go outside. Um, I would say, um, comparing this resort to other resorts I've been to, it is quite nice. Um, it, is, it is quite nice. Um, not my favorite resort, but I can definitely see why people would, people would go here. Uh, multiple times because it's uh, the, the the buffet is very conveniently located and the buffet really has a lot of options especially at dinner I really like the dinner buffet uh, lots of fruit and many different stations and the the employees are very nice here um, especially at the buffet very 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 helpful and the service is very quick so this is the uh, I guess you would you could call this the main pool Um, and there's the resort that we that's this is the top section of the resort that we just walked away from we were on the fourth floor and here it is one large building and there's the Sun so in the morning the pool is actually in the shade which is quite nice this this main pool um, So I would say this pool is typically not very crowded, um, but which is nice because uh, maybe you like to swim laps around the pool um, to get some exercise and overlooks the ocean, which is very, very nice. Um, of course, depending on how windy it is, there, there can be some waves. However, I would say there are fewer waves than in other areas of the Cancun Hotel Zone, meaning not at the top of the Cancun Hotel Zone. So, Dreams, Sands, Cancun, um, Fiesta Americana Villas, Ryu Cancun, Ryu Palace, Las Americas, um, Hyatt Ziva Cancun, all those are located at the top of the Cancun Hotel Zone if you're looking at a map. That's what I mean by the top, and the ocean appears to be a lot calmer over there. Uh, but just speaking about this resort, this pool is um, quite nice, not very crowded because the swim-up bar is in another pool. So that pool, which we will look at momentarily, will be of course more crowded. Um, let's see if I'm right. Uh, usually if there's a swim-up bar there will there will be more people there because that's where you can get your drinks. So we're just gonna walk over. Looks like they're having a barbecue here. 
Um, I know that they don't have this every day, but but it's nice that they're serving food outside. It appears to be very popular. I think it's been mentioned in a lot of reviews. So we're just walking over to the uh, pool with the swim up bar. So right now we're going to the beach area, which you can see is very crowded. Well, not crowded, but there's a lot of people swimming, which is of course a good thing because it indicates that this area is calm, the ocean is not very turbulent, uh, and of course that's always a good thing because you can just sit down and relax. Uh, this is a very nice beach. So again, this area of the Cancun Hotel is on the top portion, which has a few resorts like Hyatt Ziva. Um, this area definitely has a calmer, less turbulent ocean with fewer waves. So you don't have to worry about potentially not being able to swim due to the ocean being rough. This is beautiful, very, very beautiful. So you can just take a look. Yeah, there are some waves, definitely. But overall, very nice place to swim. So we're just going to um, take a walk to the um, the area where they have the buffet just so you can see where the restaurants are Hi. so again this is the main pool overlooking the ocean. So we're just gonna walk around to where the to where the buffet is. Um, I'm not gonna go inside, but I'll just show you where that is. So all the restaurants are pretty much located in one single section of the resort, I believe. And we're gonna walk over there right now. 
As you can see, they're taking immaculate care of the grounds. So again, the architecture looks pretty nice over here in this 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 Ryu. We actually uh, visited Hotel Ryu Palace Peninsula. You're actually, if you stay at um, if you stay at this resort, you are allowed to visit the other Ryu resorts in Cancun because you have a a bracelet, which. They will, the employees will look at and understand that you're allowed to actually stay there. So we took a bus to Hotel Ryu Palace Peninsula, and which is next to Hotel Ryu Caribe, and you have the opportunity to eat at the breakfast and lunch buffet. I'm not sure about the dinner, but so again, these are um, this is the area where they have some of the resorts. Right there's one of them, uh, Crystal, next to the other one. Fiesta Mexicana. This is a uh, apparently a very popular restaurant right here on the left, the black and white restaurant, which is actually outside, which is kind of interesting. This is the uh, the uh, Japanese restaurant, Sakura. So you see, black and white restaurant. It says uh, steakhouse. This is the, um, the the buffet restaurant, which is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's called Don Roberto. Hi. Thank you. There's lots of places to sit here, including outside. So really, there is. Um, there is no shortage of seats here. So as you can see, we haven't really walked that around that much, uh, but we are already in the restaurant section. So you see the territory is not incredibly large, but it's very well laid out and the space seems to be optimized very well because we are, we are in one building basically, but <clears throat> everything seems to be nicely spaced out. So again, this is another part of the buffet. Um, Actually, we're gonna go up here, which is uh, a nice place to enjoy the views. And this is where I think we're going to finish the um, the review. It's um, overall um, my thoughts on this resort. I think it's definitely a nice place to uh, to relax and enjoy a good vacation. Especially because the beach is very nice and they have a lot of food options, especially at the buffets. Uh, lot, lots of things to eat. So I hope you enjoyed and have a nice day.